Whoa. What is this? This is this is weird. What's going on with my screen? I can't I can everything's so stretched out and Whoa, what is what is this? This is this is weird, guys. This is weird. I don't know what's going on with my screen here. I think it might be in widescreen. I have no idea if that's what's going on. I'm guessing that's what's going on. It looks like it's in widescreen. Hmm. Well, tell me if you guys like it because um I I don't know if it's going to be better or not. I've started to play a little bit in widescreen. You know, they have support for it, and I figured it'd look better on YouTube probably because they won't have those big black bars, and, you know, maybe that'll help, maybe it won't. If you guys like it, let me know, and if you don't, let me know. Either way, just let me know, because if you don't like it, then I'll go back to the old way, but I notice a lot of people do use it this way, so I guess a lot of people like it like this, and I guess it does look better, but, um... Just let me know either way. So this is the semifinals for Zotac number 262. Today we're going to be watching Inquisitive Hawk spawning as the light blue up in the upper right part of the map versus DKH.Subsonic spawning as the red human in the lower left. So this is Amazonia and it's so far looking like we're going to be seeing a dead on human mirror in terms of the opening. We have two farms. Looks like Hawk a little bit faster with his second farm. Not sure if that's actually going to cause any problems for Subsonic. It looks like it's going to work out perfectly beautifully for him. Indeed it did, so no problems there. It doesn't look like, and I would say, yeah, so that's the early game. That's 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 the early game. We got a scout footman. Nope, just going to be a footman. Maybe a scout footman? I'm not sure what this footman's doing. Just chilling out, maybe trying to see if there's going to be any farms built in this water. Of course, you can't actually build a farm in the water, so don't ask me what, what he's doing. I don't really know. Maybe he's just chilling out. Maybe, you know, sometimes you can get blood blood mage rushed. So maybe he was looking out for that. Uh, doesn't appear to be going on. And we're going to see a shop being crept out here by a hawk. Going to go ahead and creep out that shop using militia and footman. Down here for subsonic, we're going to see him using art, the lightning shield nicely to... Uh, Creep out this little mercenary, I'm sorry, the Goblin Lab Laboratory quite quickly. And going to go ahead and creep that out, of course, with Militia and Footman as well. Back over here to Hawk, we can tell that he is actually going to go ahead and pick up some Intelligence Tome. Nicely, a nice little item to have, sending those Militia back. Now going to get Sentry Wards, an awesome item to get. Down here for Subsonic, we can see he has a Claws of Attack plus 6, as well as a Slippers of Agility plus 3. So a really nice item for him as well. Over here we can see that Hawk is actually going to go ahead and creep this out now. And he doesn't have any stat boosting items yet, So, but there are plenty of places to get those. And we're going to see Subsonic going to creep out his shop now. Uh, so maybe he'll get wards as well. Sentry wards, of course, are very nice to have. They last for 5 minutes. And as you can see, they provide some really nice big amounts of vision. Let me just go ahead and show you how much vision this is look at that it's a huge amount of vision um, provided by these wards as you can see he goes ahead and places down his second ward right there so really nice to have all that vision and what we're gonna see over here is it looks like uh, what item Wand of Illusion. Wand of Illusion, of course, being a really nice pickup as well. We can see it looks like Hawk is a little bit, pretty much halfway through level 2. And Subsonic being slightly better off with almost level 3 now. We have Inquisitive Hawk running into this base. We do see that the tech has just started for Subsonic Inquisitive Hawk. Slightly faster. Going to go ahead and Militia creep out that little laboratory on his own with just militia not gonna be an issue where do you see subsonic trying to creep out that little bit of green camp right up there uh, gonna have to pull back I'm gonna see that now uh, Hawk after doing su causing sufficient havoc deciding it's time to run away does have a footman kind of back in the back behind enemy lines uh, looks like maybe we have level 3s yes, being picked out for inquisitive Hawk nicely done I gonna have a nice gloves of taste and an intel tome of intelligence waiting for him as soon as he goes back to go pick that up and if you look over here uh, actually I guess he got those never mind yes he did actually get those I didn't even notice that gauntlets of ogre strength plus three and then a tome a various tome who knows exactly what it was uh, don't quite know but over here we're gonna see it looks like Subsonic gonna go ahead and get a tome of strength really nice as you can see it brings him in line in terms of HP with his opponent here a hawk as you can see 600 HP this is on hawks archmage and over here for Subsonic's Archmage without the Gauntlets of Strength, also sitting at 600 HP. 600 HP, it's nice to be sitting at 600 HP, and we do see these footmen just chilling around, running about the map. 
We do see it looks like Hawk has gone ahead and picked up a Wand of Illusion from this camp. And he's going to be able to go ahead and use his Wand of Illusion to summon a Archmage Illusion and get some harass scouting, scouty type of harass going on there. Uh, taking a few hits on Subsonic's Archmage. Both players are level 3 at this point, uh, but we do have Hawk in the lead for experience. Also, very being very aggressive with what he creeps out. He's saying, I know that Subsonic is right here trying to kill my footman, but I'm going to go for the experience here, and who's going to get it? Looks like Hawk gets the experience. Uh, however, uh, Subsonic runs in and gets a Tome of Intelligence plus a Mantle of Intelligence. That's, I believe, plus 5 Intelligence right over there to Subsonic's Archmage. As you can see, quite a bit of damage on it however it looks like actually uh yeah it does look like hawk actually has gotten a lot of intelligence tomes because he's doing more damage as a base uh three more damage as base as you can see of course however there's plus nine from those claws of attacks and the mantle of intelligence on subsonics archmage so there's that all of these little stats however they do matter quite a bit and whenever you're dealing with a pure mirror which we might be seeing and I don't know if we will but let's see it looks like over here for Hawk going to go ahead and throw down two Arcane Sanctums beginning his Mountain King same here for uh pretty much the exact same here for Subsonic uh, of course we do see Hawk's shop has already gone up and we just saw that uh, Subsonic's shop on its way up we do see these footmen trying to get away they have been a healing scroll being used we do see two of those footmen having their healing scroll cancelled one of the footmen going down and here we do see uh, a really nice block of course with the building here in the trees so you can't actually really get in there you had to jump in an illusion gonna go ahead and pick off another footman we do have two footmen coming in here from Subsonic trying to get in here and do some damage uh, and it looks like, yes, the Mountain King is out for Hawk. Is he going to go try to kill this? the Archmage? He's going to go for a Bolt. However, the Archmage will teleport out just in time and not have to worry about any damage coming in from that Bolt whatsoever. However, there is a Footman from Subsonic trapped inside of Hawk's base. And he is going to go down. The only question is, will he go down uh, to this tower? Because if he goes to the tower, then he won't. He will give some experience. No experience will be given. I mean, uh, but, uh, well, there you have it. And so that's what happened right there. Um... And I didn't quite see it, so I don't know. I, I was looking at the footman, and I, didn't see, I should have looked at the experience bar. But it was selected, so you can always just, it'll be in the video if you want to. If that went up, then the tower didn't get in. If it didn't, then the tower did. So either way, um, down here we do see out here for Subsonic, he does have a priest on the field. He does, of course, use a scroll of regeneration. Let's look at that. He does have four footmen as his count. And over here for Hawk, let's see, I see one, two, three footmen, four footmen, so it looks like they're both sitting on a fairly even number of footmen at this point, both players going for their natural expansion, 20,000 gold mine, of course that's the only gold mine that you can get um, on this map, there's only going to be one extra gold mine for each player here, and of course so we're going to see a nice bolt being wasted on an illusion, kind of surprised that he actually bolted that because normally you know it's an illusion, uh, and maybe he did know it was an illusion and said, you know what, it's okay, I have brilliant aura so I don't mind to use the mana, um, that's not a bad idea either. Sometimes it's worth just getting rid of illusions because they're scouts. Either way, we're going to see both players going ahead and going up for their town halls. It looks like these are going to chill out and wait here for the town hall, of course. Here we do see that Inquisitive Sox word about to go out, and there it goes, but he knows that this guy is running across the map over here, straight here. He did get to see that, and he knows that he is creeping out this at the same time. So, this could be interesting, and I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to sneeze. Um... Sorry about that. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. We do have the the ta scout tower going ahead and being canceled. You can see a bolt going off onto a peasant, and we're gonna see something went down. Um, it's a pe another peasant going down right there. And we do see the town hall actually taking some focus fire. Oh man, if Subsonic actually manages to get this, he's got his Mountain King trapped. However, the Mountain King does have a town portal scroll past to it. He's going to try to get out on the mountain. The Archmage is going to be taking a lot of damage as well. However, uh, nicely done Subsonic gets out of there doing a nice harass, uh, putting on some really nice damage just around all around to the town hall, to the as well as to these peasants. Uh, not going to have too much of an issue. Going to go ahead and use a scroll of regeneration, and with those priests there, he's not going to have an issue. Here's, here is Town Hall. It has gone up, and now it's going to take a little bit longer for Subsonics to get his Town Hall up as well. So, Subsonic take, or for Hawk to get his Town Hall up as well. If I could actually get the player names not mixed up, that would be great. And over here we're going to see uh, Potion of Healing on this Archmage. However, there is no Town Portal Scroll. We do see, uh, is it going to be a damage, enough damage actually to kill this? A bolt going off on that Archmage. No, it's not. Archmage just going to run back away and 
Level 3 on Hawk's Mountain King with actually a greater healing potion on it, which is really nice. And Subsonic's only barely into the level 2. So we do see that happening. And we see also Hawk almost picking up level 4 on his Archmage. So we do see Hawk actually at the experience advantage here. Uh, level 4 being gained up after bolting and killing that priest right there. And um, it looks like... Uh, these are so difficult to tell what's going on. <laughs> these, this is so difficult to tell what's going on when you're not a player. It really is. It's like, ah, man, okay. I'm trying to watch. Um, but yeah, so we do see that the water elemental going down. We see another priest going down as well. And we do have lots of dispels going off from both players. We do have breakers out on the field. We're trying to keep Subsonic, trying to keep a position where he's not going to lose a hero to a bolt in a surround here with his heroes. But he's going to go ahead and run his Mountain King in now that he feels a little bit safer with it. He's like, he's, uh, most of the, the tanky units have gone now so I can run this guy in but we do see a bolt going off onto Subsonic's Mountain King a little bit of almost a surround going off but not enough he's gonna go ahead and run out the back way over to the right or yeah over there to the right we do see Subsonic's Archmage now in a little bit of trouble also running away the rest of Subsonic's army trying to stay here but he's actually just gonna lose quite a bit of that if it tries to fight this without his heroes and here we do see a bolt going off onto Hawk's Mountain King Remember, Hawk's Mountain King about to level 4 uh, and Subsonic's Mountain King about to hit level 3 so who's gonna actually get to the next level first that's a good question we do see these breakers from Subsonic trying to take out Hawk's priests uh, gonna run away three of them gonna leave just one to go ahead and finish that off and Subsonic's Mountain King about to go down oh man it's gonna be 21 life is it gonna it cannot sustain another hit from any one of these heroes but it's uh it's gonna get away no problem just like that as it runs away it does have a boots of speed still not level three on him um, but down here we can hear something going on it seems like there are some militia or peasants down here peasants as it is uh, going to go ahead and go down we do have Hawk with two of his footmen and this peasant line. Are they going to go ahead and target this arcane tower first? Yes, they are. Uh, Subsonic trying to repair this a little bit, but does not have enough wood. He's actually completely out of wood, down to zero wood at this point. We do see an immediate bolt going off onto Subsonic's Mountain King. The Mountain King is running away. Uh, another one of his spellbreakers going down. We're going to see a spellbreaker going down from Hawk as well, giving level four to Subsonic's Mount Archmage. However, his Mountain King is still only level three, but it's really close. It's 11 experience away. We're going to see another one of Subsonic's Archmage or spell breakers going down and he's probably going to lose this water elemental and that breaker as well we're going to see him finally kill a priest which is going to finally give him level three on that mountain king nicely done to get the level three however his army is now no longer able really to compete his army is simply too small at this point compared to hawks if we look at the food counts let's see it's 31 food for subsonic and 55 food for hawk so hawk is doing a really nice job right now just trying to take this guy down trying to prevent him from uh, actually going ahead and too much and uh, subsonic says ah, i'm out of wood good game so nicely done by subsonic nicely done even well uh, even nicely more nicely done by hawk but honestly uh, subsonic came he almost had it i think he just uh there in, in the mid game i think he almost had i don't know he had the advantage ish when he took down the, the expansion he didn't take it down but took down like a lot of that he did a really nice harass on the expansion if he hadn't got his mountain king surrounded right there at that expansion he might have very well been able to actually take it out which would have been really nice to have seen but um whatever the case we did see what we saw and we saw that hawk won so that's game one if you would like to watch game two clickety click here and whenever that's up and stuff that'll be done and then uh, i'll see you guys in game two don't forget this is the semifinals for zotac number 262